people of the internet, I am here to shed some light with regard to two popular programmers that people are using to address the 35160 WT EPROMs, the 35080 as a class, and the 35128, specifically the 128WT. There are a lot of people that are just commenting on the forums without actually having tested the device and because I'm usually working with BMW clusters I had access and I had the need to actually use these devices. Until now I was using the R270 with a custom board made by some crazy guy somewhere in Ukraine. Quite hard to find that board but until now that was very effective at erasing the first two lines of DZ prompts, not the 35 1 to 8 because that is a different type of um, EPROM altogether but the normal 35 160s it works quite well okay I wanted to see what is on the market and actually decided to spend the money and get the premium stuff which is the VVDI PROG and its competitor, the CG Pro. And my surprises were quite big, especially having quite high expectations of the CG Pro. Let's try to just shed some light on how you would be using these tools. No tool has the capability of doing everything. I even searched for tools that were quite expensive. All of them are able to do a niche, a certain part of the process. And what I found until this point, if you're going for the 35160 chips in all their shapes and forms, the VVDI PROG can do it using one of their solutions, which is a chip that they have. I'm gonna share my screen on the computer. So what I've tested and validated, you buy the VVDI PROG in its standard form, no additional boards needed. You use their software with their special function, which is EEPROM. You select special function, you go for the chip that you want so you'll be using 35080 and make sure that you copy all and it will copy not only the EEPROM content but some additional lines which are the ID of your EEPROM the one that you will have on the vehicle and you can transplant this information on their custom chip if you do it like that and have their chips you're able to get away with swapping the EEPROM and after that erasing the first two lines the ones that are related to the mileage if not if you do not want to buy an, a new chip which is having a quite a high price kind of at the 10 pound range if you actually want to use your old EEPROM that you have on, on the cluster, in my testing, with the standard accessories that the VVDI Pro brings, aka this little thing and this little board. So with the standard accessories, you are not able to do it. The program fails. I tried it in multiple ways. I tried it even soldering the chip and using it like that. It doesn't want to accept it. I'm tempted to thinking that maybe you are able to do it should you get one of these adapters and you will get in the trap where you might fall into the trap of getting the 35080D80 adapter version 10 might work might not work we can see that we have additional electronics on the board so it's not just a resistor 
and the tracing for for the EEPROM. Okay, with this one it might work. What I've found is that they have an additional adapter specifically for the 35160 and if you look at the board at the back of the board this one is completely different from the generic one all of these accessories besides the fact that it is sold out will increase the price of already an expensive tool to note at the same time that the vvdi prog tool as a as a device it's something that gives you quite a lot of freedom with regards to downloading the content of EEPROMs. I would expect it to be the same for downloading CAS, FRM, the list if you go on their software. The list is quite extensive. You can find it over here. Also note that you can download this software and have a browse for it even without having this device i'll play some links of the places where you can get the software to understand if this is something that you might need the downside of the vvdi progs and tools is that they give you access to the dump to what the eprom has inside but if you want to modify certain things for example, unlock CAS modules, change the mileage, reset the mileage, or do other operations. You need to have separate software that is able to work and decrypt and do the stuff on the information of that chip. So keep in mind that this is giving you detailed access and you need additional software. We move on to the other tool that promises quite a lot. I've done also other scans and all sorts of other testing. I don't go in the full details. Additional videos might be found for people that are in the membership program or I will devise a way of sharing that content with specific people. The next tool that everybody's talking about is the CG Pro, the CG Pro. This one has a better software i'm gonna open it now it's a little bit more optimized in the sense that you will have access to certain functions from the unit itself as an example when you are going for dash and you go for a certain eprom type after you read it you are able to change the mileage and it performs the calculation of the first part which on the VVDI prog you will have to do it manually also on many chips it gives you the freedom of having multiple modes of reading if we come back to the chips that we were discussing mainly the 35160 WTs and after that after that the 35128WT the CG Pro comes with specific adapters for multiple chips has quite a lot of accessories that you could use but in my testing it failed to erase the first part on a 160 WD0T if I remember the EEPROM which is disappointing because my old R270 is able to, to do that this tool also has the selling point of being able to do 35128WT chips, especially on the G series vehicles. There is a guy, Beamer Doc, that showcases even his trick of warming up the chip to ensure erasing is happening, and he's showcasing it on the 35128WT. Well, there is a problem with that because I've also tried it. And the bit that you need to understand with the 35WTs and also the option of three modes of reading them. The chips that are in mode one will have the mileage information in the first two lines of the chips. Based on my testing and actual interaction with multiple 
um, EEPROMs, those chips are impossible to erase, to change the mileage going down. You are able to change the mileage to add to it, but to go down to reduce the mileage, it's impossible. No matter how much you worm it, no matter how much you pray next to it, it's not happening. That guy from Beamer Dock was able to do it on a 35128 in mode 2 or mode 3. What does that mean? In mode 2 and mode 3, the mileage information is not in the first two lines of code, as an example. Okay, this one, the mileage is the correct one. The information is in the first two lines. Impossible to, to clear. The solution that I've seen until this point is to use an emulator chip and use that chip for the 35128s. People that are finding the information in other places will say that this works. In my testing, it didn't work. This tool is easier to use by comparison with the VVDI PROG. Will be useful for CAS, FRM work and other chips. An additional and interesting bit is this tool or the software kind of forces you to have the unit connected to it and it always connects to, to the internet to make sure that you have a valid license, which is a good thing, it's a bad thing, but I'm expecting that if you're buying a tool like this one, you will actually put it to use and have a, a good license to it. Overall, we look at the pricing to, to try to decide what tool to get. VVDI PROG is at the 385 range. Some discounts might change its price. CG PRO is 399 with all the accessories and all the functions active. Not a massive difference, but you need to take in account that if you go for the VVDI PROG, you will need additional accessories to erase the chips that you have, the 35160s, or you might buy their chip and replace the chip, but again, it incurs additional cost. In my testing, I couldn't validate that the CG Pro is able to erase the mileage on the 35160s. Maybe it was something with the chip that I had, but at the same time, with the R270, the erasing of the chip worked in record time. As they are describing it in their listing, I would expect that this tool has a hit and miss ratio. If you actually read the fine print, they are saying that this one is able to do 80% of the chips. So it's not actually all of them. And I don't know exactly if they're not saying 80% hoping to to catch those 35128 WT chips that have the mileage information in a different area. Will be easier to use this one than the VVDI PROG because many of the clearing functions are already introduced inside of it. An interesting tool for cloning CAS modules for adding keys by the looks of it because it gives you the key scanner by the looks of it incorporated. Both products have a nice feel to them and both products were able to work on Windows 11. Now, some secret additional content detailed step-by-step -step how to clone and some other things to take in account will be available for people that are in the memberships or Patreon community. I will see how I'm able to distribute these bits. So get in touch if you want access to more detailed information for this. Affiliate links if you want to buy the tools will be available. I'm at this point in time recommending to not spend the money on these ones but get the ACDP2 because it brings more value. At the same time, it's a more expensive tool, so be mindful of that. That is the tool that I'm using more rather than these ones. Okay, additional content 
on the channel will be available. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'm going to see you in the next video.